Hi, I'm Valerie from Waterpress. Welcome to this new video on our channel. Today I'll show you how to edit templates in the template editor. Taking the opportunity, I want to remind you that this video is part of a series of lessons and workshops about block themes. You can also check more videos on our channel in the playlist dedicated to full site editing. By subscribing to our channel, you'll get access to all all the new videos, learn helpful tips and tricks, and join a vibrant community of WordPress enthusiasts. To subscribe, simply click the subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. And remember, your subscription means a lot. It encourages us to keep making videos and bring you even better content in the future. And now let's get started. If you want to streamline your website design process, it's a good idea to use full site editing. You can easily customize your site's appearance with templates and template parts using this feature. Just like the regular templates, the block templates live initially as files in the theme folder. But the main difference is that the user can edit these templates in the user interface in the site editor. To access the template editing mode, you'll start in your WordPress dashboard and go to Appearance, Editor. Then I click on Templates, and these are the templates my theme uses. These templates control the layout of the posts and pages of my site. The template editor in its turn allows us to edit existing and create new templates using blocks. But the only thing I want to remind you is that the template editor is only available if your site is using a block theme or a classic theme that has enabled the template editor on the back end. Today I'll show you how to customize the template on the example of the single post template. And if you watched a previous video where we discussed all common types of templates in WordPress, I'm sure you know what this template is used for. For those who haven't watched, it's a template responsible for the layout of the post post type. You can edit this template if you want to change the overall layout of all posts that use this template. And if you want to change the content of one post only, don't edit the single post template. Instead, go to posts in your dashboard and click on that particular post to edit it directly. In the template editing screen at the top center, you will see the name of the template you're editing. You can also see it under settings, template. Here you also see all template parts used in this template. First of all, you should view the structure of your template. To see a list of all blocks in the template, we open the list view. This is the icon at the top left of the screen that looks like three horizontal lines above each other. It's essential for us to understand which blocks are already part of the template, and you can click on any block to adjust the content or change the block settings. Before getting into editing, I should mention there are many ways to do it. First, we can completely get rid of unnecessary blocks. We might need to remove an improper block and then replace it with something better. In some cases, a good choice can be to add an extra element and you can completely reorganize the layout to personalize the default design. And in some circumstances, it's worth simply editing existing block settings as your theme provides you with a professional, well-designed layout from the start. It depends on the theme you're using and the vision you have in your head, okay? And all these uh, things I mentioned, moving, removing, adjusting, all these options we call editing. 
it would be reasonable to start with the header. To customize your header, you'll edit the header template part. So be careful as by adding this template part once, the changes will affect all pages of your site where this header is used. So we can edit such header elements as the site title and site logo blocks. Uh, we can add or edit your menu using the navigation block or like in my case, inside this header I have a mega menu block and you might want to adjust some settings here if you have a button. What I'm going to do uh, I'm going to delete uh, this header and instead of it, I'll add another one, another header that comes bundled with my theme. You know, the mega menu is not always a good idea. I don't want to distract my visitors from reading posts, so I'll go for the plain menu. Since template parts can be removed or added as any other blocks, the process is straightforward. Uh, you just work like with regular blocks. So ready? Great. Okay, now let's take a look at the footer. The footer is a template part that also appears on every page and post. My footer contains elements like a site title, a WordPress footer, credit, contact information, and the navigation menu. And again, any edits you make to this footer will apply everywhere on the site where the footer template part is inserted, so be careful. And actually, I would prefer my footer to be untouched. If you want to see an example of the footer I created for this theme, please follow the link you see right now on the screen. What's more, we have a great tutorial on how to add a sidebar to the template. Spoiler alert, we do it using columns. So this guide will give you step-by-step -step instructions. So if you decide to add a sidebar to one of your templates, uh, you know what to do. The post title is shown as the title block in the template. When viewing the actual post on your site, the title you have written for that post will show in this spot. The block has settings to change the alignment, size, color, and more. Post meta refers to extra information about the post, such as the author, date, categories, and tags. And if your theme doesn't have the post meta or post meta icons template part, uh, you can also work with individual blocks and adjust their settings one by one. The featured image is a single image to represent your post. The featured image block contains many settings you can adjust, such as size, position, spacing, and overlay color. And if there is no featured image block, you can add it. When customizing your theme, uh, you'll definitely come across a special set of blocks called theme blocks. Rather than letting you add static content, uh, these theme blocks let you dynamically fill your template with content from your site. The content block is one of those blocks. Think of it as the section that controls what shows up on your pages and posts. And this is where comments on your post will be shown. Uh, the comments block contains several sub blocks to control how your comments uh, are displayed. These blocks are automatically nested within the comments block when you first add it to your post page or template. We've already replaced the element in the template and now I'm going to show you how to add a new element. So I'm going to add a post uh, accept, a block that automatically displays the accept of a post. So click on the 
block inserter to add a new block where you'd like uh, the content to appear. And then again, we use the list view to accurately select the position where the block will go. So you see, the process is very, very easy. So, and what's more, now I'd like to add a subscription box. Uh, so it uh, will be very fast because I've al already uh, created a pattern with the subscription box. And uh, for this, I just need to click the inserter, the block inserter again, find the needed pattern and just click on it to add it to the template. When you're finished making edits, click Save in the upper right corner. The affected template will be shown here. Click Save again to confirm you wish to save the changes made to the template. And these changes take precedence over your themes bundled template files. To sum up, WordPress uses templates to create the layout and structure for posts, pages, or specific page types on your site, and they are like the blueprint for each component of your site, ensuring that everything falls into place and works as expected. So, together, uh, we've made a few common adjustments you may wish to make to your single post template. And I hope this tutorial will help you with editing. And if you require further assistance or have questions, uh, feel free to leave comments below. And now we want to hear from you. Have you customized templates in WordPress? So share your experience with us in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Have a nice day.